welcome to a new reading vlog so lately i've been i've still been reading circe by madeline miller and i'm on chapter seven and yeah still loving it still don't have any more thoughts except for like circe is so unlucky i guess and so yes, I'm excited to see what happens to Cersei next because all I know about her is that she is trapped in an island and that's all I really know prior to reading the book. And so it's very refreshing to know kind of like her history before that all happened. And then yesterday, I actually finished the audiobook of Radio Silence by Alice Oseman and I rated it four stars so i was expecting to really like love the book and connect with the characters because every time i see someone reading radio silence they absolutely love the book and for me it was just it was okay it wasn't bad it wasn't my favorite i probably would have connected to it more if i was in that age range like in the same age as the characters obviously you can still connect with a character who is not in the same situation as you or in the same age bracket as you but for this particular book i think that it would have helped to be in the same age bracket as them because some of the issues that they had in the book i've probably experienced them in that time of my life but right now i've already kind of processed the thing and i've kind of moved past all of those issues and so i can't really uproot <laughs> is that the correct term i can't really summon <laughs> the emotions that i had at that time so i can't really connect with the characters as much as the book probably hopes be it wasn't bad or anything it's just that i've probably gone past i don't know <laughs> but yeah it just probably wasn't the best fit for me at this time i did like it and it was like some of the best characters that i've seen in book particularly contemporary because obviously these characters need to have their own personality need to have their own issues fleshed out really well because it's kind of like a character driven book and there's a lot of them and i think the author really did a good job with fleshing them out and making them seem human and real and to have these issues kind of believable so yes I liked it. Currently, I'm also reading a manhwa, which is kind of like a webtoon um, named Positively Yours, which is essentially about this girl who goes on a one-night stand and she gets pregnant and she connects with the father of the baby and it's just so cute. So yes. If you're into webtoons, that's probably a good one because it's just fun and cute and romantic. Also, sorry for the morning voice. It's actually like 4 a.m. right now. Life lately has been going to field works and waking up this early. So, Oh, and also, I finished a business proposal last night, which is a K-drama that I absolutely love and... I'm just so sad it only got 12 episodes but I guess it, it kind of makes sense to have just 12 episodes because the plot isn't that intricate to probably have 4 more because if you guys don't know, normally K-dramas have 16 episodes but this particular one only had 12 which is very sad but I get it also yesterday while i was working when i finished the audiobook of radio silence i actually started the audiobook of the ghost bride by yang jae cho not sure what their name is but yes kind of like a fantasy not really sure what it's actually about which is not very professional of me as a booktuber but 
yeah i haven't really been paying attention that well so i probably have to start it over anyway so i'll update you guys once i start reading more of cersei and reading more of the ghost Bride. 